Welcome to the Get Fit Guys, quick and dirty tips to get moving and shape up. My name is Brock Armstrong, and I'm the Get Fit Guy. I'm a big fan of cycling because it's fun, a quick way to get around town, and it's a great workout. But I also know that when I cycle, I spend a lot of time in the seated position, and this can shorten my hip flexors and create pain and stiffness in my neck, my shoulders, and my back. If only there was a way to solve these issues without taking me off the road. Well, maybe there is. About 10 years ago, a friend of mine told me about this funky bike-like device that he had purchased called an elliptigo. He described it as the love child of a bicycle and an elliptical trainer. Now, a few weeks later, he actually showed up to meet me riding it, and yep, that is exactly what it looks like. It has handlebars and wheels like a bike, but instead of pedals, it has those big foot pads like an elliptical machine at the gym. And the real differentiator is that it doesn't have a seat. Now, outdoor elliptical bikes seem to be gaining popularity. I've started to see these contraptions on the streets in my neighborhood, and I've even seen four-time obstacle racing world champion and ultra runner Amelia Boone posting about her elliptical machine on Twitter. So I thought it was about time that I took a closer look. So let's start with are these outdoor elliptical machines effective or not? Well, in one of my previous articles called The Benefits of Using an Elliptical Trainer, I mentioned a study from the Journal of Strength and Conditioning Research, and the study compared the use of a plain old bike with an elliptical trainer during what is called a Wingate test. Now, this test is a 30-second all-out maximum effort that measures the power output from an athlete. In this version of the test, the researchers had the volunteers ride both a bike and then an elliptical while they measured energy outputs from the three major energy systems of the body, the oxidative, phosphorolytic, and glycolytic energy systems. They then compared the energy consumption and peak blood lactate levels. Now, the researchers concluded that due to the increased arm use, core activation, the use of more leg musculature, and the standing position the user is put in, remember, there is no seat, the elliptical trainer was able to get the volunteers to reach an exhausted state much more quickly than a regular bike. Now, why is this important? Well, what I take away from this study is that if you're looking for a cardiovascular exercise that will maximize your effort, Choosing a machine that gets your arms, core, and legs all moving is important. Outdoor elliptical bikes can do exactly that. So here are three reasons to choose ellipticals. Aside from elliptical trainers being more difficult than bikes and also more effective at exhausting volunteer test subjects, there are a few other reasons why you might want to take this fad seriously, despite the fact that they look a little odd. And the first reason is that it has a lower impact. The elliptical trainer was originally designed to replicate the running motion but with less strain put on the joints. And if you've ever used one, you will know firsthand that they succeeded. The smooth, oval-shaped movements that your feet make are undoubtedly placing a lower impact on your ankles, your knees, your hips, and your lower back. And a study at the University of Missouri compared an elliptical machine to a treadmill and found that the elliptical exercise was nearly identical to the treadmill exercise in every aspect except that the elliptical trainer created far less joint impact. So, if you're worried about your joints but you want to keep your cardiovascular fitness high, this could be a good choice for you. A second reason you might want to choose one is that it builds more muscle. A Canadian study looked at how elliptical machines differ from walking and found greater muscle activation during the elliptical training from the glutes and the hips than during walking. And a study at Willamette University found that when you pedal backward on an elliptical, you can really target your quadriceps and challenge your coordination at the same time. So, if you want to build a stronger butt or increase the power of your hip muscles, you can do it on an elliptical trainer. And the third reason you might want to choose an elliptical is that it includes your upper body. 
Because these outdoor ellipticals don't have a seat, and some of them also use the power of your arms, shoulders, and chest, you get a good upper body workout while you doodle around town. Again, because there's no seat, you also use more of your core muscles to stay upright. This means you can save time by working your upper body, lower body, cardiovascular fitness, and core all at the same time on an elliptical trainer. Alright, now let's look at which bikes are actually available. While there are many more of them on the market now than there were when my friend rolled up on his 10 years ago, the choices are still pretty limited. Due to the variety of designs, features, and functions, it's pretty hard for me to say which is absolutely best, but here are a few standout options. The Street Strider is definitely the one I think encapsulates more of the elliptical experience than many of the other ones. While most of them have handlebars, like a bike, the Street Strider has two handles that move backward and forward. I would definitely choose this if you're interested in the upper body benefits that I mentioned earlier. The Street Strider can also be set up on an indoor stand to become an in-home elliptical trainer when the weather outside gets frightful. Now, the Elliptigo Arc 8 is probably the coolest looking one. It also has eight gears, which is probably why I've been seeing them around my quite hilly neighborhood as of late. It's also one of the more affordable choices, considering what you get. Another point in favor is that Elliptigo, to my knowledge anyway, has been doing this the longest, so they do have the best track record and the most variety. The half bike is probably the silliest looking one, yet also somewhat the most stylish. To me, it looks like what would happen if a kid's tricycle was designed by a Danish architect, if you can picture that. It's also the smallest and the most foldable one, so if you're planning on riding it to work or packing it in the trunk of your car, this would be a good choice. And finally, the Wing Flyer, which is billed as a scooter for adults, is the most fun looking in my opinion, but they're harder to find. Wing Flyer also warns riders to steer clear of rough terrain. I wouldn't necessarily suggest using any of these bikes for off-roading, but if being able to cruise on off-road terrain matters to you, well, you might want to look at some of the other ones. So, which one do I recommend? Well, I prefer the Street Strider's design because it makes use of the upper body more than the other ones, and it's also a little wackier looking, which in this realm is actually saying something. In tests, it also offers better stability at the higher speeds you can apparently reach on these bikes, up to 20 miles per hour or 32 kilometers per hour. But I don't advise trying to hit those speeds until you're very confident in your elliptical abilities. Now, in the end, when it comes to outdoor elliptical bikes, you could be a runner looking to build endurance while avoiding impact injuries, or a general fitness enthusiast who doesn't want to stare at a wall while they exercise. Or you could be, like me, someone who loves fitness gear and also loves the great outdoors. Now, either way, what I thought 10 years ago was going to be a hilarious flash in the fitness pan seems to be sticking around and winning the hearts of even this die-hard cycle fanatic. All right, thanks for listening and don't forget to tune in next week because we're going to look at why taking movement breaks or movement snacks, as I like to call them, is even more important than ever these days. You're not going to want to miss that one. Now, my name is Brock Armstrong. I'm the Get Fit Guy, asking you, what are you waiting for? Get out there and ride on the open road. <laughs>